so apparently I'm scum for liking Zack Snyder. <laughs> I I I really am finding it so ridiculous how these people keep coming on Film Junkie's channel and just keep saying that if you like Zack Snyder and like want to see more of his work, then you are the scum of the earth. That you appreciate someone's art, you're the scum. God, how pathetic you are for liking a certain person's artwork. And it's getting a little ridiculous because, like, you can't go, like, one video on Film Junkie's channel without seeing, like, at least, like, 20 plus of these fuckers commenting this horse shit that if you're, like, a fan of the DC movies, if you're a fan of Zack Snyder, uh, you're the problem, right? You're what's wrong. That you like something you that makes you scum. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. It's so stupid. And it's so ignorant. It's just like, do these people got nothing better to do with their lives? If you don't like the movies, great. Get the fuck out. Like, this is a channel that's talking about DC films and liking them. Leaning towards DC. There's a million other channels that just shit on DC all the time. Just go watch them. I understand why they have to come here. You know what I'm saying? Like, just fucking leave. <laughs> Who cares about your opinion right now? No one is agreeing with you. The only people that agree with these people are the other people who are also saying that if you like Zack Snyder, you're scum. That's the only people. Like, people that use words like scum or crybaby are truly pathetic people. Like, they have no argument. They have nothing to back up anything they're saying. They're just saying this shit over and over. And with this Black Panther news, with this fucking small-ass Facebook group, you know, like, probably was, like, what? Like, less than 100 people said that they're going to tank the ratings. As if, like, a 1,000 people or 100 people could even do that. They can't. All right? Over 100,000 people vote in the audience section. You really can't tank it if you're, like, just 100 people. Like, that you're, well, you will not affect the score, right? And people take these people... That are just going to hate the Black Panther movie no matter what, right? And they equate them to DC fans, right? And they say they are DC fans and with no evidence, by the way. No evidence that they're DC fans. And they paint us, true DCEU fans, Zack Snyder fans, in a bad light. And the press just runs with it, right? And it just fuels the fire. It just gives these people more ammo to do what they're doing. Now, the people that, you know form that Facebook group that's now gone, by the way. You can't even find this Facebook group, by the way. It's already gone. All right, so those people probably didn't mean anything that they were saying, and they're like, oh, fuck it. People are getting too bent out of shape about this. We're not even going to talk about it anymore. Those people are still not going to like the movie, so nothing... This isn't changing anything, right? I'm probably not going to like Black Panther, and it's not because I don't like black people. It's because I don't like Marvel movies, I don't like the fucking tone of any movie they've ever had, okay? I don't like the stupid jokes every 10 seconds, okay? I, and if Black Panther's like that, I'm not going to like it. Now, there's a good chance I'm going to like Black Panther because Michael B. Jordan's in it. I, he's a great actor. I love him. I thought he was great in Fantastic Four, even though that movie was fucking horrible. I thought he was good. I love Andy Serkis. He's great in every movie he's in. He's going to be great in Black Panther. But I can already tell I'm not going to like Black Panther. Sorry, it's not going to happen. People are already saying this movie's a masterpiece. And every time a Marvel movie comes out, they say it's a masterpiece and it's great. And it just makes me not like it, okay? This automatically, I have, I'm not, I'm going into the film thinking there's no way it's going to be a masterpiece. And that's what's going to happen. It's not going to be a masterpiece. I'm going to see countless flaws and holes in it. And I'll probably like tell you all of them as... I watched the movie as, as I come out of the movie, right? Um, my friend is taking me to it. He's super excited to see it. I don't know why. You know, I don't know why he's a Black Panther fan. He's never read a Black Panther comic book. Most people haven't read any Black Panther comic books. They don't know anything about the character. But for some reason, everyone's excited about the movie. So, you know, it's strange. I mean, are people only excited for the movie because it's a black superhero? Like, is that the only reason you're going to fucking like this movie? Like, there better be more of a reason, right? There better be a good story. There better be good characters. Like, just because his skin color is a certain shade shouldn't be a reason you think the movie's a masterpiece. It's so ridiculous. And I'm sure those those people that were wanting to hate the 
Black Panther movie, the people that wanted to tank the Rotten Tomatoes review, they probably just don't like Disney for like what they did with Star Wars. You know what I'm saying? That really pissed off me. Last Jedi pissed off a lot of people. We're talking millions of people. So more likely than not, the people that want to tank the Black Panther Rotten Tomatoes score are disgruntled Star Wars fans. That's probably what it is. Because I'm a DC fan that doesn't like Marvel. I'm not looking forward to Black Panther, right? I'm not looking forward to any Marvel film. I'm going to go see Black Panther. Not looking forward to it. But I'm not going out of my way to tell people that it's trash or to give it negative reviews or to tell people that it's a horrible movie. Because it's a Marvel movie and I am a DCEU fan. I am not a fan of the Marvel movies. That is it. I am not going to talk about them because I am not a fan of them. If I do talk about them, I'm going to be drunk. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do not care about Marvel movies. I do not care about... An- I do not care about them at all. Like, that's why I, that's why I think these Marvel marks that are on Film Junkie's channel, this is what I think they don't understand. They don't understand how people could not give a fuck about a Marvel movie, you know, because everybody has to fucking love Marvel, right? And you have to care about every Marvel movie, and they just can't comprehend that people don't think about Marvel all the time, you know what I'm saying? I do not think about Marvel at all! The only time I think about Marvel is when a DC movie comes out and people say it's not as good as Marvel, and I'm like, fuck Marvel! That's what I say to them when they say a DC movie's not as good as Marvel, I'm like, well then fuck you, you know, Marvel sucks. That's where I stand. But I don't go out of my way. And that's the fucking point. Calling people scum for liking Zack Snyder and what he did with the universe. Making a unique universe with his own interpretation. How is that bad? You know what I'm saying? It's like they went up to the Mona Lisa at the Lou and said, Eh, it's a shit pain. It's too small. Three out of five stars. Like that's, that's these kinds of people. They would critique beautiful works of art. That's what they would do, all right? They wouldn't appreciate... You took these people to, like, an actual museum, they would probably go, pshh, at everything. At everything. These aren't people that give a fuck about something being beautiful or something having a deep meaning or anything. They just care about being right. That's it. That's all they care about. They don't care about anything else, okay? And the same thing goes for, like... The political spectrum, like Democrats, Republicans, people just want to be fucking right. They don't care what the politics are. They just want to be on the right side. And that's all it is. It's so fucking frustrating how nobody cares about, uh, (laughs) you know, what they truly think of it. You know, they only care about being right. And like, whoa, what's everybody else saying? That's because that's what I have to say. It's fucking ridiculous. And I know why Film Junkie's not blocking these people on his videos because they are getting him views. Like, he gets at least 200, 300 more views on every video because he lets these people just go at it in the comments section. And I help him with that, you know. I'll call them scum back just to get a reaction out of them, just to get them typing back. And I'll flip all their arguments back on them, you know, to just show them how fucking ridiculous they are. And they'll comment back, and I probably won't read it, because I rarely go back. I mean, it's rare that I go back and I, like, you know, comment back at somebody after I've already made my comment, right? But sometimes I do, and it's just, it's just getting Dave, it's just getting the film junkie, it's getting him more views. So, it's not a problem for me, you know? (laughs) Like, these people have no credibility to me, I don't care about these people. Like, they are not affecting my life at all. I make a comment, I leave for two hours, I come back later on the day... They commented back, I comment back at them, I leave for like the rest of the day. (laughs) Uh, Don't even check it, because I don't care. But it's getting to the point where every video is like this. And these people like are truly useless people. Like if all you have to do, if all you have to say is just negative shit and just putting people down for liking DC movies or liking Zack Snyder, you're truly not adding anything. You're truly a useless person and you're truly, well, I hate to say this word, but you're truly scum, and you're pathetic. I hate using their fucking shitty words, because they're not well thought out, right? Scum, like, what does that even mean? It's just, like, bacteria, you know? Who fucking, like, what? Like, their vocabulary is so small. You can't think of another fucking word than that. 
and then I have to stoop down to their level, and I have to talk, like, monoslavically enough for them to understand, you know? It's fucking ridiculous. And, you know, when people are saying that something's a masterpiece, like Black Panther, already with Black Panther, people are saying it's a masterpiece, right? And when people do that, it just makes it easier to see the flaws in the movie. It makes it easier to point out all the fucking plot holes and illogical shit, right? So, I can't wait to see Black Panther and truly, like, see. <laughs> like, is it a masterpiece? I fucking doubt it. It's a Marvel movie. I fucking doubt it's a masterpiece, okay? They've never made a masterpiece. Not a single Marvel movie is a masterpiece. Not a single one. A masterpiece is, like, a, a director's, like, grand, ultimate film that they've always wanted to make, right? Like, Blade Runner is a masterpiece for Ridley Scott. That's the film he's the, probably one of the most passionate about, probably more so than Alien. Like, Inception is a masterpiece for Christopher Nolan because that's the film Christopher Nolan has been wanting to make for the majority of his life. Watchmen is a masterpiece for Zack Snyder because that's the film Zack Snyder's been wanting to make for his whole life. And he's been thinking about every little fucking detail of the movie, right? Every little fucking thing. Batman vs. Superman... Superhero movies, this is what Zack Snyder's been wanting to do his whole life. He has thought about every little scene in detail, you know, and cared and actually thought out every little fucking thing. That's what a masterpiece is. A masterpiece isn't fucking Ant-Man, you know, where half the shots are shaky cam, you know, most of the fights are quick cuts, and they all end on some fucking joke that the director doesn't give a shit about, I guarantee that. I guarantee you the director isn't laughing behind the camera as they fucking shoot these comedic scenes, right? I bet you half of them are rolling their eyes. But anyway, it's a masterpiece. Whatever. But who knows? Maybe the people tanking the ro Maybe the people going after Black Panther are DC fans. Maybe they are just like me. And they're just way more overzealous about it, right? Like me, I could care less about Marvel. I care... So little about Marvel. I do not, I do not, I never want to think about Marvel or the MCU, you know? I do not care. And I don't know how people could possibly care about Black Panther or Thor or Iron Man. Like, did, does anybody read these comic books? Like, no! Like, <laughs> I've never met anybody that's read a Black Panther comic book. I've met people that have read Batman comic books, you know? Plenty of those people. I've read plenty, I've seen plenty of people that have read Spider-Man comic books. A lot of my friends have read Spider-Man comic books. Not a single one has read Black Panther. So just, just the fake fandom. That's what it is. It's a fake fandom of a movie, right? That everybody just all of a sudden loves Black Panther. Just like everybody all of a sudden loved Iron Man. Even though nobody knew who the fuck Iron Man was when that movie came out. It's, that's what I think gets at me the worst with these fucking Marvel movies, is that you don't know any of these characters. Nobody does. Why do you care so much? And, yeah, um, I might be going in circles. I could tell you that the people that are attacking Black Panther are not racist. I could tell you that right now. It's either one of two things. Either one, they're DC fans and they just hate Marvel movies like I do and they're just fucking being way overzealous about it or two, they're fucking Star Wars fans that hate Disney right now after Last Jedi and want every Disney movie to fail because of that shit. More than likely, it's probably the first one. I'm willing to bet it's the second one because The Last Jedi literally came out last month and people are still fucking pissed off about that, you know? Like, they're still really pissed off about The Last Jedi. So it makes sense that they wouldn't want to support another Disney film. But, you know, let's not let logic get in the way of anything, right? Let's not even think about logic right now. Let's just call people scum for liking Zack Snyder. And, you know, let's just hate on DC for no fucking reason, right? Even though, you know, they make movies that are just as good as Marvel, if not better. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. Uh, what do y'all think about that? What do y'all think about that? Do you think it's DC fans going after Black Panther? I don't think it is. Do you think we're scum for liking Zack Snyder? I fucking doubt it. <laughs> I fucking doubt y'all think that. It's just ridiculous. Like, like, what kind of person does it take to call somebody scum and trash just for liking 
a certain director's vision and just for liking movies. Like, it doesn't make any sense. If you told me you love Transformers, I would be like, all right, man, that's cool. It's, like, not my cup of tea, but that's cool. Like, that's, that's as far as it would go, probably. I wouldn't call you a fucking idiot or the scum of the earth for liking Transformers. And to be honest, the action scenes of Transformers are fucking awesome. You know, like, the, they're spectacles. But, that, you know, that's, a, that's beside the point. That's like, an, that's like another thing for another day. Anyway, what do y'all think about it? Let me know down below, and uh, I'll see y'all on the next one. Uh, bye for now.